Antarctica, a vast, unexplored wasteland of snow and ice. But beneath the polar fields lie the untapped riches of all time. Scott Base, one of the many scientific establishments housing the men who work to unlock the secrets of the frozen continent. An international team formed for the benefit of all mankind. Yet as these nations work for peace, at least one nation works for... Hey, look at this. This must be an earthquake. And near. I'd better let the chief know. Funny kind of earthquake. It's isolated and the peak tremors have disappeared. Could be a volcano. Mills here, sir. We've got a reading on the seismograph. Oh, very nearby the looks of it. Of course, we'll get all the figures to you right away, sir. Our tracks. They may not see them. That makes no difference. They're too close. Much too close. Here's China. Come in. We completed the analysis on that disturbance we reported, sir. Oh, well, what's the verdict? I don't know. Oh, it should have been a volcano, an earthquake, something like that. But the information doesn't confirm it. It wasn't possible to reach any definite conclusion, sir. But you've got your own ideas. Well, it sounds impossible. But I can only think of one thing it could have been. A nuclear explosion. Mission. A clear warning of danger. One more reminder of the fantastic, astounding event that took place in the snows of Tibet. An event which enabled Richard and his two friends to walk away from the crash plane and return to our civilization. Able to use their powers to their best advantage as the champions of law and order and justice. Operators of the international agency of Nemesis. Richard, what do you know about the Antarctic? It's cold. Well, tomorrow you leave for the South Pole. I come and have a look. 
Most of the continent is international territory. There are 38 scientific bases manned by oh, a dozen nations, including France, Britain, United States, and Russia. In fact, the whole thing is a remarkable example of cooperation, which can only continue as long as all parties keep faith. What's gone wrong? Well, several weeks ago, a seismograph at Scott Base recorded a very violent disturbance in the region of the Ellsworth Highlands. An earthquake? Nobody knows. Four scientists who were sent to investigate disappeared. So have two search parties. What do you suspect? Well, there's a 12-nation treaty which prohibits the dumping or testing of radioactive material. And you think the treaty's been broken? Well, it doesn't matter what I think. Nemesis, in this case, you two have got to find out your instructions. You know, sir, you're very good to us. Fascinating place, Antarctica. I think I rather envy you. Oh, sure. We'll bring you back a penguin, sir. Yes, you do that. I'm very fond of penguins. Richard, there are four and a half million cubic miles of this stuff out there. Yeah, I know, I read it up too. In some places it's 9,000 feet thick. Of course, you need a larger glass. A large one? He kills me. <laughs> now, you can't really learn about the Antarctic from books. For a start, the temperature goes down to 50 degrees below. Then you can't even breathe the air neat without damaging your lungs. Yeah, yeah. books can be very explicit. Lose a glove out there and the next thing you lose is your hand. You should hear him when he's depressed. Uh, have either of you any experience with dogs? Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine had a poodle. We'd better use a motor sledge. No, that's out of the question. We haven't any petrol dumps up there. Oh, I know, sir, but we can't risk dumps. We? Well, I thought you knew. Hemmings will be going along. It was my own idea. You don't know the first thing about survival in these conditions. Investigation's our job. We'd have soon found out. Look, without an experienced man, you'd die of exposure for sure. Anyway, the decision's been made, Sterling. Now, how about those dogs? Well, I'm no expert, but I once drove a team in Canada. Well, then you should have said so. Huskies can be quite a handful, you know. Snow, we can have worked secretly for years. Now, everything is in jeopardy. Maybe the explosion was not detected. You are an optimist. You think other nations are fools? No, but it is possible. We work on the assumption they know. That is the only way to protect our interests. But without proof, they can do proof nothing. Proof they must never have. I've already issued orders. We have patrols to intercept inquisitive strangers operating here. Time to build another snow cairn. Ah, I'll give you a hand. Weather's closing in? Yes. With luck, we should be able to make another five miles or so.
Okay, let's go. We need this. Need it? What for? A beacon. This place is like a desert. If you don't know the landmarks, you can walk around in circles for days. And you'll learn that in time. We'll rebuild this a hundred yards over to the left here. They'll line up on that and go, of course, for miles. Not if they use a compass, they won't. Compass is useless here. Come on, give me a hand with this. <laughs> How long will it last? Your guess is as good as mine. Day, a week, months. I'm going to feed the dogs. Quite a party. Yeah? So where are the girls? With Hemmings around, there could be complications later. Well, we have to play it by ear. Do you think it was an atom bomb? I'm curious, but I can wait. Must have been a small one. A megaton would have melted the ice cap so much there'd have been a tidal wave. You know what? We'll find out. But how... You know him? Huff. He was the leader of the first... He must have died of exposure. Exposure? Nothing. You take a look. This man's been shot.
in here now. Yes, General. You wanted me, General Gomez. Yes. What's the delay? We have no time for games, Captain. We play no games, General. We are stuck in the ice. What are you doing about it? Waiting for the thaw? I am sending an aircraft to find the way. Sterling? Jackson here. Commander, we found Hoffner and his party. Found them? Are they dead? Yeah, murdered. Cut down by a machine gun by the look of it. Is there any indication of... They've jammed them. It's too late. They got the message through. It was a chance in a million, them finding those bodies. So, what now? They will go on searching, and we have to make certain that they find nothing. You should have killed the three of them yesterday. Clear passage to the west, the pilot has just reported. No sign of any U.S. icebreakers? No, he saw no other ships. A coded message for Colonel Santos. I want an immediate reply. I must know what other mistakes those stupid fools have made. Yeah. Cold-blooded murder, they didn't have a chance. Were they carrying guns? Guns. But there were scientists. There was no need of guns. Until now, the position has changed. But why? All the major countries have cooperated here. I can think of a few who haven't. Yes, neo-fascist countries outside treaties and agreements. Countries who'd go to any lengths to get some of the minerals this continent's got to offer. Oil, gold, uranium even. There were eight other men. Two other search parties. I suppose they died the same way. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. He just can't stand his own cooking, that's all. They're being followed. I heard it. I'm sure of it. Followed out here. They're not far away either. You can see for miles. If they were camouflaged, even we couldn't see anything. The wind's dropped. Before we could get any closer, they'd hear the motor sledge. We'll leave it. Use the skis. No further contact? Not the slightest doubt their radio's being jammed. Which means that whoever's responsible knows that they're in the area. Do you intend sending another party after them? Because if you do... No, no. I... We're not equipped for that sort of fight. Up to them, I'm afraid. Yes? 
That tractor train from the ship has been sighted, Colonel. And General Gomez? He should be arriving in a few moments, sir. Tell Major Zerilli to join me here immediately. Yes, sir. General Gomez is arriving. He'll assume command. Yes, I know, Colonel. And do you also know he'll conduct a full inquiry? The charge will be failing to ensure the security of our operations. Of that, I am guilty. I've written a full report, absolving you from all blame. Colonel! The ultimate responsibility for mistakes is mine. There's no point in anyone sharing it. Major, see that General Gomez gets this. Yes, Colonel. Give you my apologies. Regret I'm unavoidably detained. Go. You mustn't keep the general waiting. Soldier, go into the colonel's office and remove his body. Gomez, I am Major Zarini, acting commander. Where is Santos? His apologies, sir. I regret he is no longer with us. There is too much equipment here above ground. Give instructions that you should be placed under cover immediately. Now know of our activities. There'll be planes and ships searching for us. But, General, they know we are but here. But they do not know who we are, what we're doing, or where we're based. In time, they will find out. Time, Major, is on our side. Soon it will be winter. Six months of blackness and blizzard. They can do nothing. By spring, our work will be completed. Then we can demand proper recognition as a great world power. We'll talk about the explosion later. For the moment, I am concerned with security. Three patrols from Scott Base were intercepted and destroyed. But a fourth party found the bodies and radioed back that they'd been shot. So long as there was no evidence, the United Nations could take no action. That was unfortunate, General. Unfortunate, Major. I call it incompetence. Criminal incompetence. There are many ways men could die here and their deaths arouse no suspicion. But you shot them and left their bodies to be found. Who gave the order? Colonel Santos. He did. And he was wise to take the action he did. What about the fourth party? The last report we had from the patrol was that they'd lost contact in the blizzard. Have you started an air search? No. Colonel Santos... Dead! Do it. I want those men dropped here. I want to know exactly what they radio about their headquarters. Well, we should be pressing on. Yeah. I want to take a look over the top of that ridge first. Stay with the sledge, huh? the heat required to melt that much ice and snow? Now, physics isn't a strong point of mine, but at a guess, I'd say it was a small bomb. Four or five kilotons, no more. Yeah, but who let it off? 
All right, let's take a look. Oh, there's no need. The radiation down there must be very high. What have you found? Oh, my. Listen. I don't hear anything. Get down. There. The dogs. They might not see them. They're hidden by the ridge. We'd have been shot up if they'd seen us. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe not. That chopper must have come from the direction of their base. So, it can't be far away, huh? Now, wait a minute. We should get back and report. Ah, it could be too late. We might not make it through their patrols. The only thing we can do is to go on. Oh, what's the difference? They'll find us anyway. Five to control. Report over. The intruders are located on the west side of the blast area. Proceed and intercept. Over. We're already closing in. Over. General Gomez wants them alive. Repeat, alive. Message ends. Over and out. Your message received and understood. Over, out. What happened? 
uh, combined operations. We're used to working together. Okay, who are you? Captain Jones, 475612. What's your nationality? You've heard of the Geneva Convention. A prisoner is only required to give his name and number. Don't give me any of that nonsense. Under the Geneva Convention, a nation has to give a declaration of war. This is a war, insofar as I'm a soldier obeying orders. You're, You're a very good little boy. We can't take him with us. Who wants him? <laughs> Tie them up, leave them with Hemmings, and we'll scout ahead on skis. We're going to get further for wearing their clothes. Yes, that's true. You think you can handle them? I'll be all right. Use it if you have to. You won't get a second chance. How long are you going to be? Depends. If we're not back by tomorrow night, you're on your own. Try and make it to Scott's base. We leave as soon as we get them tied up. Well, there it is. We can't go back. Let's take a closer look. These ropes are strangling our circulation. My hands have gone dead already. You know what frostbite's like. You know how easy you can lose your hands and feet out here? Turn around, let me see your bonds. You'll be safe, I'm not lying. Come on, loosen them. I'm not trying anything. I give you my word. Please! All right, then. Now, keep still. We are expecting visitors. Double the guard on the base perimeter. At once, General. And search the base in case they've already got through. Remember, I want them alive. Yes, sir. From Captain Yost. Two of them have got through. Go to the east. Where have you been? Follow him. There's a lot of activity. Here, yeah, they must be on to us. Hemmings. You know, if we ran about like them, we might just get away with it. Anything? No, look at him. Send some men to the perimeter. This section's okay. Come on, move. Born curious. Must go on for miles. Craig? Let's try this way. No smoke without fire. This could be it.
atomic shells. So they have been using the Antarctic as a testing range. I wonder if they've left any time fuses around. Captain Oost was quite explicit. And they could have only come here. General, the base has been thoroughly searched. Then search it again! Standard time fuse. That gives us about two hours to get out of here. Yeah. And two hours for them to find it. Why not? It'd relax the guards, then if we got a break, we'd stand a better chance of getting out of here anyway. So maybe they won't bother to check what we'd be up to. Okay, Richard, we let them find us. I hope they don't kill us when they do. If they keep us here, in two hours, we'll save them the trouble anyway. You've done well, Captain Yost. Thank you, sir. Now you must rest. I have other work for you. Right, sir. Wait outside, Lieutenant. Yes, Sit down, gentlemen. We'll drink. You're surprised, eh? It is my pleasure. All my life, pleasures have been one-sided. Always we have been exploited, robbed, humiliated by foreigners. Foreigners who frowned on our ways of government. Try legal pressures to bring it down. Soon, that will happen no more. I'm happy this is a great occasion to the future prosperity of my country. You don't drink to that? Leave them. You must not expect it. Throughout history, large, rich nations have always bullied small, poor ones. Now it changes. Does it? A little man with a gun is as strong as a big man with a gun. It only takes one very small finger to pull the trigger. And you know what we do here. Absolutely. Your explosion was recorded all over the continent. They suspect an atomic explosion. But only two men know. And that knowledge will die with you. The explosion was a mistake. A test shell misfired. And five other rounds went up with it. They tell me it was... Very spectacular. I can imagine. I'm sorry to inflict upon you my boasting, but I think it is excusable. On the completion of our work here, we will be a great power. No country will tell us what to do. They can destroy us, yes, but soon we will be in a position to destroy them as well. Which brings us back to you. You will die of the cold. In that way, you can help us and our work. Charming. You'll be left where your countrymen can find you. Signposts pointing in the wrong direction. But it won't stop them finding you eventually. Eventually, we'll be too late. Hop. Don't you have a room with a view? They won't last long in there. See ya. Ah. You ever get the feeling that things weren't working out too well? An hour and 20 minutes, then it gets warm. If we last that long. Are you cold? Are you cold? Yes, freezing. Would you like a drink? Thank you, whiskey. Say, no, I... Both, please. It's days, weeks since they made contact. Well, they tend to be expected, Sharon. They are thousands of miles from civilization. Is that enough ice? Thank you.
thank you. You must do something. Craig and Rich are in terrible danger. My dear girl, I... You must radio Scott Base for help immediately. Sharon, yeah, you're being ridiculous. You know as well as I do. I know better than you do. If we don't act immediately, they'll die. Why, you're being hysterical. I it's out of the question. We've no idea where they are. We know where they're heading. You must do something. Please. I know they need help, and they need help now. What is this? Is this woman's intuition? You can call it what you like. Now, listen, Sharon, I'm just as anxious as you are, but we've got to be reasonable. And we can't send men out searching in those conditions just on the strength of your somewhat exaggerated fears. Now, you're worrying unnecessarily, my dear. Now, look, I've got somebody waiting for me, so you sit here quietly, finish your drink, and then go home and try and get some rest. There's a good girl. This is Nemesis, a top priority message for Scott Base, Antarctica. Request immediate air search in the vicinity of the Ellsworth Highlands for Craig Sterling and party. All bases in the area requested to help. Signed, Tremaine. <laughs> Where did they find those other bodies? Two days' journey by motor sledge. Good. You and Lieutenant Bilo can start a chain of snow cairns a few miles nearer their base. Leading well away from here. Precisely. You will take an identical tent and leave in it the bodies of our poor frozen friends. Is that clear? Completely. You will do everything to create the impression these men just lay down and died. Very good, General. They will never know. Of course they will know. But not at once. It will delay the search. That is all we require. And when shall I start, General? Just as soon as possible, Captain. Dress the dead men properly in their outdoor clothes. Yes, sir. Our friends should be ready for you now. Like frozen fish. Cut their clothes, soldier. They say it's a painless way of dying. Yes, pity. They deserve to suffer for the trouble they've given us. Just just left, you know. Thank you, Major.
little exercise to get the circulation going. I don't know about you, my brain still feels iced up. Yeah, another couple of minutes in that fridge might Get do. down! As soon as we receive those instructions from Nemesis, we send out the search parties. When the bang came, we thought it was the end. So did we. You know, there's one thing I can't work out at all. Even lying for the distance that you must have covered before the patrol met up with you, you must have been inside the radiation range. Oh, yeah, well, we were lost. We backtracked quite a few times. Yes, and remember, the conditions were new to us. It's all in, sir. Thank you. Well, I suppose you're due for some leave now, then. Oh, yes. We've been waiting a long time, actually. Richard's already booked. Oh, where are you going? Skiing. Skiing.